Hey guys, it's Pharaoh the Cat here, and uh, I'm going to continue talking about what I talked about yesterday, and that is the school shooting in uh, Florida. Now, I kind of talked about the guy and why he did it, and not necessarily who he was, but he was caught. Sorry, I keep doing that. He was caught. Um, he was arrested, and the police have him. So that's a good sign. That's always good. Team Rock and the Yankees said today. But uh, I said I'd talk about my viewpoints on more of the gun control. Because this guy had an automatic weapon. There's people coming home. I don't know, let me see. Had an automatic weapon. So they decided. Uh, I feel like, because my cousins themselves, they have semi automatics. And like. Semi automatics are okay to me. And so is an automatic gun. If you're just taking it like they do to the range, or you're just going to have fun with it, and you're not doing any harm, I don't have a problem with that, but the screening process is what I have a problem with. Now, my cousin said that they had a, a decent amount of paperwork, right? Decent thick packet. But the actual interview themselves, for itself, was five minutes. Yeah, it took them a couple weeks to get the gun. Fine, it took you a couple weeks. It's mandatory to wait a couple weeks just in case you decide to shoot up somebody. Actually, no, that's... Yeah, two weeks. So the process took two weeks. I know it's for issues, really, it shouldn't be. So it took two weeks. They get the gun. And they have it, you know, not doing anything wrong with it. One of them's a cop, I mean. But they all have guns. So anyways. So... I feel like it should be a longer process because the actual interview, personal interview in person, has five minutes and about three questions are asked. Asked, why do you want the gun? How are you paying for the gun? What are you going to do with the gun? And I was told it was different for someone, uh, my friend Jesse. He can subscribe to his channel. That's it's fitness. I'll put his link in the description below. Below. <laughs> below. But, uh, he has more subscribers than me, but you know what? I'll give him a little shout-out, my friend. So, anyways. So, I feel like the screening process should be longer. The gun laws are fine. I mean, if you want a gun, you have a gun. New York's one of the safest states for gun laws. New York's also one of the, I believe, one of the fewest school shootings. Someone brought it up in a class today, though. There have been 18 school shootings. Just this year. Just this year alone, in 2018, there's been 18 school shootings. And it's February 15th. That's not good, guys. <laughs> I mean, that's not good. 18? I read that too. 18 school shootings. <laughs> to me, that means we're, ha letting, we're not screening right. No matter what the state is, we're not doing proper screening we're not checking these people right people are getting guns that shouldn't have guns yeah it's your right to have a gun but if you have a mental issue you should not be owning a gun like you should not be allowed to bear arms and that's just my opinion you don't have to agree with me but you should be allowed to bear arms and but the screening process for you to be able to be a bear arms should be more thorough. I'm not saying it's not thorough, but obviously, if these guys are getting guns and they're shooting up the school, they're gonna the, the screening process is not thorough enough. Bear in mind, yes, I. That was a dog. Bear in mind, yes, I know that if someone wants something, they're gonna get it. If you take drugs away from a drug dealer or a drug addict. They're going to find a way to get drugs. You take alcohol away from an alcoholic. They're going to find a way to get alcohol. You take a gun away from a murderer. They're going to find a way to get a gun. Or they're going to find another way to murder. I get that. I'm not saying guns are bad. I'm not saying guns should be taken off the street. What I'm saying is that we need to... I said, probably said five times. A better screening process. I don't know what that means... Checking further in the history, checking more references, 
having longer than three question, three, four, five question interview. Open carry all the time. I don't know if that's what it has to be. <laughs> to where you can't conceal a firearm. I don't know if that's what needs to happen. But guys, something needs to change. Something needs to happen. No, obviously. Well, let me lock it. It's not locking on my face. There we go. Obviously, Columbine, right? That was one of the major ones to kind of started this, oh my God, school shooting scare. Then we had Sandy Hook. Oh my God, it's a bunch of young kids. <laughs> Still nothing happened. Now, down in, down in Florida, it's a high school. So what are we going to do now? A former high school student is now shooting up school. And a lot of government officials are sponsored by the NRA to say, we like guns. People are paid off by the NRA and other gun companies to say, guns are fine. We like guns. They're fine. Yeah, we might like guns. But we need to have some other way of preventing this kind of thing. I don't know if security at the school has to be harmed. Maybe that's it. We need to get armed security at the schools. Holsters, people are afraid of the people taking away guns. They have locks on them. It's going to be hard. It's very hard to disarm someone when you got a lock on the holster. You have to push a button on the side of the holster. Or you have to push it forward and pop it up. And it is very hard to get out. And the person that would have the gun on them would definitely, trust me, feel it being pulled off their holster. So, I mean, if that's what we need to do, then that's what we need to do. You know, there's no other excuse or reason that we shouldn't have better gun laws. It's just simple as that. I mean, should you be allowed to own a gun at 19? No. Should you be allowed to own the gun at 25? Yes. I say make the gun rule 21. That's why anyone that, any former student that's angry enough or has enough hate within them to decide to do something like that can kind of think about it for a couple of years before they go out and buy a gun. Because a lot of these kids are young. Sandy Hook, I think the guy, the guy was what, 20? This guy, 19, Columbine, I forget how old the guy was. But we need to bear down on bearing arms. And I've said it once, I'll say it again. It's not people that kill people, or it's not guns that kill people. Gun, uh, people behind the guns kill people. The gun dealers don't kill people. The people that buy the guns kill people. The people that decide to put those... Not everyone that buys a gun obviously kills people. But if a 19-year-old is coming in and asking for an AR-15, there should be more questions than why do you want it, how much are you willing to pay, and what are you going to do with it? This week. Are you sure you want it for that reason? Self-defense. Why do you want it for self-defense? Get a pistol. Excuse me, or a handgun. Why do you need an AR-15? Those should be the kinds of questions. Maybe they should be hooked up to a polygraph. I really don't know, guys. Um, I guess I really don't know. It's just sad. Last I saw, 17 were dead. Numerous injured. I saw something on, about teachers that were standing in front of bullets for children instead of uh, them getting shot up. I saw a SAP story today of one of the kids' SAP story, and it said, holy shit, our school's getting shot up, you know? And you can hear the gunshots. I don't know what we need to do, guys. But something needs to happen. Whether it's... And it needs to happen today. Maybe we need better security at the schools. Maybe it's not just show an ID and come in. I don't know. Maybe it's why you're here. Uh, or they do ask that, but... Maybe it's more of why you're here. Maybe it's not just why are you here. I don't know, guys. Because if they get let in... They got a gun... 
I'm gonna shoot it up. <sighs> Alright, before I make this too long, before I bore you guys too much, remember to like, subscribe, favorite. I'll try to throw, if I remember, throw Jesse's YouTube channel down in the description below. And uh, until next time, guys, love you all. Peace. Oh, I messed up. Peace. One more thing, guys. Let me know if you like these kind of videos where I kind of just walk around and talk about a subject or do these kind of vlogs by leaving a comment or a like by leaving a comment or a like below, and uh, keep doing them. So, uh, yeah. Until next time, peace.